Ministry is preparing the groundwork for the mega merger of public sector oil companies that Finance Minister Arun Jaitley kicked off in his budget speech. Sources tell CNBC TV 18 that one proposal is for upstream giant ONGC to acquire retail major HPCL. Nitya Balakrishnan and Survi Upadhyay report that the plan under consideration currently involves a two-stage process. Take a look. We propose to create an integrated public sector oil major which will be able to match the performance of the international and domestic private sector and oil and gas companies. Less than a month after Finance Minister Arun Jaitley's budget bouncer, the oil ministry has come up with an action plan. Sources tell CNBC TV 18 that one proposal being drafted is for upstream giant ONGC to acquire refining major HPCL. As per the plan in the works, this will be done in two phases. Phase 1, ONGC will pick up government's 51.1% stake in HPCL. And Phase 2, ONGC will make an open offer to acquire an additional 26% stake in HPCL from the open market. This, of course, means ONGC will be dipping heavily into its cash reserves. At the current market price of HPCL, which is close to 560 rupees per share, 51.1% stake will cost ONGC close to 30,000 crore rupees. The company will also need to shell out an additional 14,000 crore rupees towards the 16% of the other shareholders' stake, which means the entire deal evaluation could be close to 44,000 crore rupees. The government for one is confident that the merged entity will not just prove to be a global energy heavyweight but also help in withstanding crude volatility. As the finance minister put it in his budget speech when talking about consolidation of central public sector enterprises. It will give them capacity to bear high risk available, uh, avail economies of scale, take higher investment decisions and create more value for stakeholders. Before all that, the oil ministry's proposal will require cabinet approval, after which shareholders will have to wave the green flag. So the centre hopes the process will be complete latest by September. However, there will still be political hurdles that need to be crossed, like union objections to possible job cuts and confusion over hierarchies. And if all that is surmounted, there is still a question mark over whether this will eventually result in India's answer to the shells and eggs and mobiles of the world. With Nitya Balakrishnan in Hyderabad, in Mumbai, Surabhi Upadhyay.